Okay guys, I'm gonna do a quick wash job on this 2007 Chevy Silverado truck that we have named Coffee. Uh, my wife had the great idea because it's so hot out here. She's afraid the windshield might crack. So she put these uh, window shades on the outside. Of course, we got them on the inside too all the time. But anyway, it's not that dirty. It's just kind of dusty and stuff, but we've had tons of rain again. So I thought it'd be a good idea to give it a wash. It's just all dusty and stuff. I haven't washed this thing and I couldn't tell you when or the on either. We just got done doing a video on it, so washing it. So I'm going to get at it and I'll show you what it looks like when you get, get it done or part of it done or whatever. So hang in there with me. See you in a bit. I I okay, guys, Mrs. PBI. I mean, P, Mrs. Mrs. P.I.B. and I have washed this 2007 Chevy Silverado truck by the name of Coffee. And let me tell you, we probably, as she said, picked the worst time of the day to do it. We've been washing vehicles now for several hours. You know, the door jams and everything like that. This truck, uh, I don't know if y'all have ever washed one before. But there is a lot of truck right here. So we finally got it all done, uh, washed and dried. But after we got done washing it, we I sprayed this stuff here on. I don't know if you've ever used it or not. It's Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax. I didn't have much in it. So I meant to put it on this car, or her little Scion XB, and it totally slipped my mind. I had it setting out and everything, and then got started on this truck and I happen to remember it but anyway if you've ever if you've never used this stuff before uh the way I use it the way I was told to use it let me say that at first I didn't like it but after I was told what to do I'm trying to get in the shade where you can see uh how to put it on and it kind of makes sense but uh what you do it, when you get the vehicle all washed and uh you know, getting ready to, to the point you're wanting to dry it off before you put your hose and everything up, spray this stuff on it. You know, make sure, you know, like your hood is wet, whatever you're doing, starting out first, always start out at the top. And it doesn't matter if you get it on the glass or not, because it's all good. You spray it on and you can see a reaction as soon as you put it on. I mean, everything starts beating up. Take your rag that you have washed the vehicle with, you know, make sure it's good and clean and just you know, wipe over the whole vehicle with it, which is what we've done. And the next time it rains, if you've never used it before, you'll see a difference. And, uh, but I, I pretty much keep my vehicles waxed. So, I mean, every time it rains, it, it uh, beads up. Anyway, but uh, I, I like this stuff. I'll buy it again if I can catch it on sale somewhere. I think, I think when this first come out, I think I paid like 13 bucks for it or 12 or 13 bucks, which is unheard of for me. For something I've never tried before. So anyway, I got it and I think they got it cheaper than that now and different different manufacturers produce produce it too. So it might be quite a bit cheaper now. But anyway, I like it. And on the tires, uh, I, I got a sponge. Sponges are some of my favorite tools. I guess you've noticed if you've kept up with my channel, but I put this stuff on and put it on a sponge and just go around the tires with it. It doesn't get anything on the rims. And it lasts a really good long time. I, I really like this stuff every time. Well, not every time, but a lot of times when I go to the store, if I see it, I'll just pick up an extra bottle. It's good to have around. I really like it. And, it, you know, it goes on there thick. It doesn't start running. You can put it on your sponge or a rag. I prefer a sponge. And, um, you know, just wipe around the tires and, you know, just the minute you're done. So, and it, you don't have to worry about the rims getting spots and stuff and I was going to clean these rims a little bit better with some spray I got that I think would have made the rims really shiny, but the day's just getting gone, and it was hot. I mean, as soon as we put water on it, you know, it would dry just about as soon as you wiped a little spot. You know, we it took a long time to wash the trucks, what I'm getting at. I've got some stuff. Where did I set it? I think I set it right here. 
I've never used this before either. Uh, mother's back to black. I'm going to do the door handles and the tailgate handle. Things that are, you know, uh, plastic uh, black. It says exterior bumpers and trim care. Revitalize and beautify and all the color, blah, blah, blah. But it says to surfaces need to be treated. Must be clean, dry, and cool. Well, it's hot out here. Uh, put it on a black, uh, put it on, put it back to black on a dry terry cloth sponge. Uh, anyway, it's supposed to be not be in the sun is what I'm trying to say. So it, I guess massage, you're supposed to massage it in and get a terry cloth towel and make it come to shine. I've never used it. It sounds thin, you know, like watery. It's not real thick, doesn't sound like. So thought I might try that maybe tomorrow when the shade is on the driveway instead of uh, you know, way out there that's just now starting to come into view again. But uh, it's almost getting close to 7 o'clock and the mosquitoes are out. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you uh, where I'm at on this truck and how much better it looks. Just, just sitting here, it got really dirty. And, uh, I was going to tell you a few things that I like about this truck. I, I like, I said a few things about this car that I really like. It's only fair to tell you a few things about this truck. I really like it. Runs good, and uh, if you've kept up with my channel any any length of time, uh, you know I have a little Ford. I, I call it S10 Ranger. It's a Ford Ranger, a '93 four-cylinder five-speed. It gets about 20 miles to a gallon. The Ranger, I mean, the Ford Ranger. I call it S10 Ranger because it's got Corvette rallies on it, but it gets about 20. You know, 18, 20. Maybe 22 if you're on an interstate, maybe. But it's a good little old truck. Oh, my goodness, it's a great little truck. But this truck here gets about 15 or 16, and look how much more truck you got. Just just saying. But, I mean, it's not really a fair comparison. This is a 2007, and that's a 93. So, you know, that, that Ranger qualifies actually around here for antique plates. But, uh... Anyway, it's a good little truck. I, I shouldn't compare it. It's no comparison. I mean, you're talking 20 years, whatever. A anyway, getting back to things I like about this truck, I like the color, and I like the name that come up with coffee. I've never had a truck, in case you just stumbled across my channel, I've never had a truck this nice. I never, never have, probably never will. I bought this from my really good friend, Brian done some trading around and got it and i like it because it's got cruise i like that coffee smell anyway i i hadn't touched the inside you can see i still got coffee sitting in here to try to get rid of the cigarette smoke smell and it i believe it's gone i'll just keep setting it in here it, it does it's not going to hurt nothing but uh this is a big truck and when you get to i'll show you the, might as well show you the engine since i got the door opened i guess it's only fair i guess uh let me see if i can do this one hand oh my goodness it's got a 4.8 in it. it it runs really good I, I i like this truck a lot it's just sitting in the driveway though it gets dirty but uh try to get some of these leaves off but it's a good running truck it's got i think 195,000 or 197,000. i can't remember but it's a good little, old, well, good truck. It ain't little, but after driving something like after after driving something like this, you realize how big this is. So when my wife says something to me, Mrs. P.I.B., and I'm sitting over here driving or something, I say, "What? What? What?" <laughs> uh, just for a joke. Anyway, uh, I like the color. I like I, I like the gas mileage, and it gets for such for such a big truck. I, I mean, you know, it it does pretty good, I guess. It and it'll get out of its own way, so I like it really well. It's it's come a long way. It it rides a lot better with the with I better lock this door with the new uh, tires on it, and just a good running little truck. Good running truck. There's been a few things if you've kept up with it since I got it this year. While you say I've fixed a few things on it. I fixed the tailgate handle. The tailgate didn't want to stay shut. I fixed it. 
got new tires, got a front end alignment, uh, got this bed liner put in it. Uh, what else do we do? There, there's some more odds and ends that I can't remember. That's another reason I like to do YouTube videos, just so I can remember. So anyway, let me know what you think about this, and I, I guess I'll hush. I know car washing is probably boring, but it, it's something that's got to be done, and I'm just telling you what I what I do. When I, I'm going to wax it again before, I guess maybe about fall. That's just it's right around the corner. Give it a real good wax job, and I'll wax the windows and everything, and inside and out and just do a bang up job best that I can to my ability so there maybe you can see it better uh anyway just do the best I can I'll give Mrs. PIBs another good wax job I normally wax it three or four times a year but we've had so much rain anyway enough of that I hope y'all's having a great day I am I am so glad to see the blue sky and no rain got to get a hold of this yard next and some more things around here that I have neglected so, if you don't mind, I have a YouTube channel by the name of Primer is Best. If you would, would you please, that's my main channel uh, that, I, that I go to most of the time. If you would, would you please go to Primer is Best and hit, sub, hit the subscribe button. I sure would appreciate it. It means so much to me to have a new friend on board to the channel. It's a small channel, uh, you know, compared to others, you know, I... I I see other videos on YouTube. We watch a lot of YouTube, and I see a lot of people that's got, you know, in the first hour, you know, they've got two or 3,000 views, and that's just, to me, just unheard of. So, anyway, if you, if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button, I sure would be grateful. And if you don't mind, if you do subscribe, please leave me a comment and let me know that, say, hey, I subscribe to your channel. I always try to reply back on comments. If you took the time to make a comment, I'm going to take the time and tell you how much I appreciate you making that comment. Also, I have Chevy Trucks. It's a new channel I just started recently. Chevy Trucks. It's just Chevys and GMC Trucks. I don't care what year it is. I don't care what condition it's in. If it's a Chevy or a GMC, and the people will let me make a video of it, I'm going to do it. Because I just enjoy... Wintertime will be here before you know it, and I just enjoy looking at Chevy and GMC Trucks and getting ideas so anyway i appreciate if you subscribe both as i said leave me a comment and i sure am grateful to have y'all to watch this video with me let me know what you think about old coffee here and i'll catch y'all in the next one i hope y'all's having a good safe day see you later